Hey there, I'm Sean. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, if not, it's good seeing you again. As you can see, it's a beautiful day out. It's a good day for the spooky season. Um, I'm actually going to start getting in. Well, I mean, it's October now. So I'm going to start doing more of the spooky theme stuff. At least what seems like spooky theme stuff. And this one is some grow brewing. You've seen them on this channel before if you follow me for a while. These guys are out of Genesis. Genevieve, I was going to say Genesee, Geneva, New York, what the, too many G's, Geneva, New York, this is their Devil's Garden Imperial IPA, coming in at 8.5% alcohol, and like usual, let's get that beautiful artwork right there, I love the artwork that these guys get, Um, this is from Lick Rom on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not going to get that uh, focus. But I love that they always have who did it. I, I just love the artwork that they get. I mean, look at that again. But it's spooky in the name. Um, Devil's Garden, come on. But I have, at the time of this recording, so it's not actually October while well, I'm recording this, it's September. Um, this was canned on 9-18. So, at the time of this recording, it is a week and a couple days since this has been canned. Um, although, I have been taking the advice that Beer Patrol and the FLX Beer Review guys, so Joe over at Beer Patrol and Dan and Mike at FLX have given, and that is to start storing these guys upside down. So, my hazies my fruited sours, all those, I'm going to start storing upside down um, to keep what, you know, but let's get into it, I already know this is going to be delicious because of who it is, um, Bro Brewing does some amazing stuff, pour a little bit in there, yeah, that is a Definitely a darker hazy, um, more, oh, I'm trying to get like a good description for the color, not an orange juice, um, like a dark pineapple, more like a fruit punch kind of a look, about a finger's worth of just off-white, kind of cream colored head. Get a good swirl on there. I'm, I'm fastly noticing that I'm going the Roscoe's glass more and more for my IPAs. Ooh, sweet tangerine. A little bit of mango. Some papaya. Sweet, sweet, juicy nectar, man. That is freaking fantastic. Yeah, strong papaya tiny bit of mango definitely like a, a decent tangerine tropical I mean that smells fantastic it looks fantastic let's get a sip on her it's got that juiciness but it's not like a super juicy um Definitely getting some of that papaya coming through. Tiny bit of mango. Not a whole lot. So you get that tangerine on the smell. But you don't really get the taste of tangerine. You're getting more papaya, mango, a little bit of passion fruit, some stone fruit. Oh yeah. Forgot to say, it's coming in at, I don't know why I didn't say, 8.5% alcohol. No IVs on the can. Not sure the IBUs on here. It does have a decent bitterness, so, so I'm assuming those IBUs are probably up there. So, I'm, oh, this is fantastic. Even at 8.5, I mean, you see them take a big gulp of this stuff. It's going down pretty quick. Um, this is hitting all the spots I wanted to hit. Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm slowly becoming really enthralled I guess you could say with 
grow brewing. Sorry, my mind's rebooting for some reason. But yeah, you, I, you know, if you already know, you can get this in New York, uh, at least in Western New York, maybe some in Central New York. I'm not sure about East New York, um, how far their distribution goes. I picked this up for five something for Canada Single at Grand Central Discount Beer. But it's juicy, but it's, but it's not, um, you, you start to get a little bit of the juice, but then it's kind of like, uh, muted, it just starts to get juicy a little bit, watery, and then it mutes, it comes back down. Super fantastic, I'm really enjoying this, I'm gonna get 4.2 out of 5, um, freaking fantastic. Devil's Garden, uh, if you, you see it, pick it up, if you see anything from these guys, pick it up, they are fantastic at what they do. Slight dryness on the back of the throat, not super bad. Bitterness is there, but it doesn't stay long. Fantastic brew. Thank you for watching, and until next time, cheers.